Are we going to have an energy policy that frees ourselves from dependence on foreign oil? Are we going to have a foreign policy that makes sure that we provide for the common defense, but we also are not engaging in wars like the war in Iraq that are wars of choice instead of wars of necessity? Are we going to deal with long-term problems like climate change and the deficit and make sure that Social Security is there for the next generation? I mean, we've got a lot of big choices ahead of us. And the fact of the matter is that this election, more than any other in my lifetime, represents a clear choice between the past and the future, between hope and between fear, between us saying that we're all, each of us, on our own, and those of us who say, you know what, we're in this thing together, and we got to look out not just for ourselves, but also for each other. So uh, there are a lot of important decisions to be made, and no state is going to be more important in this election than this state right here, the great state, the great Commonwealth of Virginia. And I'm telling you, you, especially all these younger voters out here, many of you are first-time voters, many of you have not been involved in politics before, this is a time for you to make your mark. This is the time for your voice to be heard. Now people say, well, my vote doesn't matter. This time it does, because this is a critical election, it's a defining moment in our history, and because it could be real close here in Virginia. So I'm just hoping that everybody here uh, is going to take the time to vote. Not everybody may vote for me, but regardless of whether you vote for me or not, make your voice heard, make sure that you are deciding your future. This is what America's always been about. Change does not come from Washington, change comes to Washington. And I promise if, if all of you are willing to go out there and let your voice be heard, then we're going to finally have the kind of accountable and responsible government that all of you deserve. Thank you, Duke Banks. I appreciate you. God bless you. Remember to go vote. Let me shake some hands. Thank you, everybody.